It's Thursday, September the 14th. Almost halfway through. And the first feeling of fall, I think we're going to touch on in the next three or four days. Yes, and have you noticed the change in leaves? A few different colors. Mm -hmm. A very light change, but Mm -hmm. uh, the uh, fall is coming. Yes, it is. It's coming. Well, um, also what's coming is uh, this week to the surprise of maybe the uh, Jerome Powell and his crowd was uh, a tick up in inflation. Yep. And we saw just just this morning, the producer price index was up 0.7%. It was anticipated to be 0.4%. Gas prices being the biggest nemesis, uh, up 20%. That and uh, home mortgage prices continue to be a uh, sticking point for the home building market, the inventory market, and for those that want to move from one house to another because it's in excess of the 7% range. And we had a terrific, by the way, uh, 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 event for clients this weekend. And for all those that came, thank you. We enjoyed so much seeing you. One of our clients was a mortgage broker, and he was sharing with us the challenge that 7% creates uh, in the mortgage world in the triad yep. area. So all of this data is really made the S&P 500 totally range-bound over the last three months. If you just go back and look at middle of June to where we are right now, the S&P 500 is up 1%. So pretty range-bound over the last quarter. Range-bound, and, and we continue to have the opportunity because of the inflation and what the Fed does and what we believe will be at least one more rate increase. We are in that in camp. That, that treasuries that are maturing and we have money maturing – um, you can still get in excess of a 5% rate, to, and it carries out into the November. Now, why the November range? That's when the next, well, the next meeting's next week in September. We think it's going to be a pause, but the next meeting then be in November, and we think there's a chance of potential higher rates. I, I think the, the stated percentage is uh, 47% believe that it's going to be Uh, increase in November. So I would tell you we're steady as we go. If money is available, we're just renewing it at a a, a rate in excess of 5%. We're getting to November when we recognize within a lot of portfolios, in fact, the majority of portfolios will have other monies maturing, at which that point in time we'll be reevaluating. You had said a week or two ago that we're going to begin to contemplate uh, bond funds and potential in what happens if interest rates come down, how we can make money with that. And we do have your list that you put together and keep current on stock and stock opportunities and ETFs and sectors and that type thing. Yeah, but if we do believe the Fed's going to move in November, then we will probably wait past that to see. Before do, we... do that. But we're moving towards those dates and money is working. And if you have any questions, you can call us. Uh, we do this. Again, we appreciate all those that came to our uh, client event and our staff who worked so hard to put it together, even in a rainstorm. We had a lot of things occur in about a 45-minute period of time. <laughs> uh, we celebrate your birthdays uh, oftentimes by sending cards. Julia, if you have a chance to speak to her, has her birthday coming up, so wish her a happy birthday. But we're glad to be with you. 40. Forty-four. I, I think she was thirty. I think. I think she's forty-four. Forty-four. Yeah. Okay. Well, we do this each and every week because it is your money, and your money matters. See you next week.